What's up doing people, how you all doing and welcome yeah, back yeah. to my channel. Today's video is going to be another shopping spree challenge. This is actually the third one I'm doing of this. First time round, I visited a UK retailer called Flannels, which that video has got like 11,000 views. I don't want to spoil too much, but in that video I unboxed like a couple of Stone Island shorts. The second video was actually Selfridges. I picked myself up a Gucci messenger bag and also I trekked my mum to some Yeezy 500s. I suppose surprised her with them. I didn't actually get them from Selfridges though, they were just on an Adidas drop. In this video we are revisiting the Flannels website, there's been a huge sale recently and one of the items I picked up was on that sale. I do have two items, I don't know if I've mentioned that yet. I'm going to obviously open the first item which I actually got first in just a moment. I have a huge shopping problem, I need therapy pretty much. I actually got the first item in this video a couple days before I got the second one. I actually went to the flannels shop in Meadowall in Sheffield. If you've been there before you know it's a pretty big shop. There's a lot to choose from. I did have an idea on what I wanted before I actually went to the shop. Let me just get the product right now. So here it is, this is my first purchase in the shopping spree challenge. It is a black hooded top from the brand Stone Island. Recently I've got so heavily invested in this, the clothing is so nice, the quality is so good. This is actually a size large, it fits me perfectly. In the first episode I did mention I got two pairs of Stone Island shorts, I got a black pair and a grey pair, similar grey to this actually, and I always felt that I needed like a hooded top or like a sweatshirt. Uh, at the end though, I did go for the hooded top. I very rarely have black hoodies. I usually go for grey, red, white. The only time I really wear black hoodies is when I'm working, to be fair. And I've always wanted one for obviously on a weekend going out, shopping, even more. Let me show you though a little close up of this hoodie if I hang it up somewhere and get a little cinematic for you. So there we go, we've hanged it up there. And that is the full hoodie right there. It's obviously got the famous Stone Island badge. I feel like the first Drake concert I went to, he was heavily in Stone Island. He actually got a custom Stone Island chain med for him. And I think that's one of the first times I ever saw the brand. Obviously there's a lot of people who go to like football wearing Stone Island, but I feel as, as soon as Drake wore it, I feel it's like it's came into like an actual fashion. The, the material, like I said, is just so good. The quality is so high. If you really want to know the prices of each product I bought, you can obviously visit the Flannels website itself. At some point, I really feel like Flannels should definitely offer me a sponsorship or an advert for at least one video. I was looking on YouTube the other day uh, from other people's Flannels videos and there was actually one person where he was actually doing an advertisement for Flannels. In the first video I did with these shopping spree challenges, I got more views than him. So, it's possible, maybe one day, fingers crossed. Back onto the product though. I'm gonna put the camera down in a moment and try it on so obviously you can get a full perspective if you were obviously willing to buy something like this. The hair's a little bit messed up. It's just terrible at the moment. I definitely need to get that cut. Like I said, I did have an idea on what I wanted to get. A black hoodie, definitely a hoodie. I love hoodies. Uh, as soon as I saw the Stone Island one, I went, I'm getting it, I've got to. It goes with the shorts, like I said, also. I can pretty much complete an outfit now at Stone Island. I'm sorry about the mess in the background. I've just literally whipped off that grey shirt I was wearing to put this on. But I feel like I'm going to keep this on for the rest of the video. Uh, definitely while I unbox this one. So, there's a little bit of a story behind this. I picked up this jumper on the Saturday. Uh, the day after, I went onto the Flannels website to see if there's a on sale, which there was. There was actually 96 pages of items that was on sale. There was Gucci tops for like 200 pounds and I was so tempted to pick something up until I saw this. It's a fleece sweatshirt, so another like jumper. I do live in England, I've got a lot of United States followers and if there's one thing to know about the UK, you can't have enough jumpers. The weather recently has been terrible. It usually is February time. I picked this item up online. The delivery was expected to be three or five days. I did get an email on the Monday after I bought this and it said that my item will be delivered on the 11th, which was the day after. I actually missed that delivery and it only just came today. The reason I'm making this video right now. I've opened it already, but I thought I'd leave the package in so it's, it actually looks like I'm unboxing it. So let's pretend this is shut. Magically open, just like that. 
It comes in obviously another separate bag, but we're gonna hide the hoodie for a moment. It also comes with another little pouch here. I had one of these with my shorts and it said flannels on. No idea what this says. I think it's, they definitely want pre, free promotion. I might have to check that website out. It might be more designer clothing. Or maybe I should stay off designer websites for the time being. Save some money. The next item and the last item is this Ralph Lauren fleece. It's a black fleece with a massive polo logo along the chest of it. I've been wanting a fleece for a very long time. Like I said, for my United States followers, the UK is so cold and the weather is so bad. I assume a lot of places in America will be really cold this time of the year. Uh, Chicago being one of them. I know All Star Weekend's coming up and I saw a few pictures of it snowing. It's not quite snowing outside. It's actually quite sunny, but if you stepped outside, you'd feel the cold. Let's take it out of this little pouch and unveil it to the viewers. So here it is. It's got a nice little turtleneck. I believe that's what you call them. It's a grey turtleneck and the inside is red. So you can fold it over and it still looks mint. The rest of the fleece though is black. It's got a little zipper about halfway, but three quarters down. Like I said, the massive polo logo across the chest. And it's got a USA flag on the sleeve as well. I absolutely love America. I wish I could live there one day. There or Dubai, that'd do me. Better than Donny, I imagine. I haven't had this on for long. I'm gonna take it off, hang it up, and now try this on for the next item and last item of this video. If you've obviously got this far, please smash that thumbs up and also subscribe. It's free, it probably only takes you five seconds. It does mean the world to me. The worst parts of these videos is always the mess I leave behind. So here we go, this is the Polo Fleece. Uh, the neck's a bit high up, purely because of this little tag at the back. I want to make sure it fits before I cut it out or that'd be an absolute disaster and a waste of money. But on camera it looks nice. This is a bit more baggy. Uh, I kind of want that on the fleece because obviously I want to keep warm. With that Stone Island top, I purely just got it for fashion reasons. But yeah, it looks really nice. Another reason to why I got it, not just because it's a fleece, I actually saw the NBA player Paul George wear it in an interview. And on him, it just looks so nice. It won't obviously look nice, as nice on me purely because I'm an ugly c That's probably going to get bleeped out. But yeah, I do like it and I feel like I'm going to keep this one. I love making these videos, obviously like shopping sprees and stuff. But I really, really want to know each and every one of your thoughts on the items I buy. If you like them, if you dislike them. I won't take each comment in a negative way. If obviously if you don't like them. But it's always good to see people's opinions. The comfort is nice. Out of 10 I'd probably rate it a 9. I can't remember the last time I had one of these zippers halfway down here. Probably when I was like 5 or 6 on like a Liverpool training top. But yeah, this is really nice. Obviously the embroidery of the USA logo as well there. The stitching is so nice, there's not a loose thread inside. Overall, I am so happy with the two purchases I've made. I will definitely, this is not a good thing, be going back on the Flannels website within the next week. Expect another video very shortly on these shopping spree challenges. But yeah guys, that is gonna be the end of this video. I really hope you have enjoyed. I know you guys love these shopping spree challenges. If you wanna see another one, if you want me to keep going, smash that thumbs up and subscribe. I know I say like and subscribe a lot, but it does really honestly mean a lot to me. It knows that you guys enjoy it, obviously, and for me just to keep going, it gives me a little bit of motivation. Also, leave a comment down below on what you think of each item, the Stone Island hoodie, and also this polo fleece. Out of the two, I kind of prefer this one. Purely because I really, really wanted a fleece. But they're both amazing products. But yeah, guys, make sure you stay safe out there. And I'll see you next time. Peace.